Todd. That's right, Alex. We do have numerous things that we will have to watch during the nighttime hours tonight. You can look at uh, Pinpoint Doppler showing you a few scattered showers out there. No severe weather, imminent severe weather threats, but that will be changing later on tonight into tomorrow morning. You can see the latest outlook from the Storm Prediction Center showing that slight to enhanced risk for pretty much all of the Oracle text. It does look like the risk will be highest over the southwestern half of the region, mainly in East Texas and parts of northwest Louisiana as the storms arrive later on tonight. Here's a, a loop of Futurecast, and uh, notice the uh, stall which uh, will take place uh, over the uh, heart of the area late tonight into the early morning hours tomorrow. Because of that, we are also going to be looking at the potential uh, for some flooding across the region. Uh, you can see this uh, particular graphic does show, uh, again, uh, where we have the best chances of maybe seeing some flash flooding anywhere in that red area models are indicating that we could see anywhere from three to as much as six inches of rainfall and I'll kind of narrow that area down a bit more show you a couple of models and also talk about some nice weather on the way once all this storminess moves out that's in your forecast coming up all right that sounds good thank you Todd well you can always stay up to date with the latest weather developments by downloading our weather authority app for Apple and Android devices